One county in the Wiregrass is going to have to spend nearly one and a half million dollars to help repair areas impacted by storms last month and it'll be without the help of federal funds. WDHN's Aaron Dixon with the story. When storms rolled through Coffee County between June 14th and 19th, it left behind nearly $1.5 million in needed repairs. On Boxwood Drive and Enterprise, a road that used to have a dead end now has a hole where the road is washed out and caution tape now surrounds the area. The county saw downed trees, debris, washed out roads, and blown out pipes and storm drains. All of them met their threshold, and in fact, some of them, like coffee, were well above it. We just did not make the state threshold in order to get a presidential declaration. 20 counties throughout the state were damaged by storms during those six days in June. And together, they needed to reach a total of $8.5 million in damage, which originally they thought they did before they sent it to FEMA, where they learned the state threshold wasn't met. If the threshold was met, that would mean federal funding would go to those 20 impacted counties to help in the recovery process. But now the counties have to fend for themselves. Unfortunately, we have to uh, do the recovery ourselves and we have to uh, come up with the money and see how we can fix these areas. Brown says now they are talking to the different municipalities throughout the county to try and raise the funding. An area such as the sinkhole at the end of Boxwood Drive is going to cost the county about $125,000 to repair. But one of the real issues lies in the pipes, as they are in need of repairs after nearly three inches of rain pounded the area in only about an hour's time. That's a lot of water that, that comes into one area, and so you have those blowouts like that. Brown says that he has been in contact with the other counties impacted by the decision as they all look for a way to pay for the damages out of their own pockets. Reporting in Coffee County, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.